three comps at uh, competition at three different clubs. Uh, amazing origin career, test career. I think the for players who have played more than 200 games, the highest career win rate is uh, Cameron Smith at 72%. You're at 71%. Now, that Canberra system you game, came through with Tim Sheens, you, you made your debut in 87 when Donny Ferner and, and Wayne was there. Geez, they were, those Raider sides were great teams. Yeah, look, that, I mean, that, I just came in at the right time there, to be quite honest with you, uh, Matty. Look, um, I, uh, I, was a, I was a light bloomer. I didn't start playing first grade until I was about 23 years of age. And... Um, uh, I, I got an opportunity in the under-21s back in, uh, in 86. Uh, and I busted my, my ankle while well, playing in the grand, well, we made the grand final and I busted my ankle and uh, they graded about six of us for the, for the remainder of the year and played 23s and all that sort of thing. And I, I didn't get much footy and I just assumed I was going to go back to the Blues, you know, but uh, JR, John McIntyre rang me and called me in and uh, I signed for about a thousand bucks or something like yeah. that, something silly. Um, and that was for the 87 year, so yeah. um, I, I ended up debuting uh, in 87 and was a part of that um, that campaign, obviously, with Wayne Bennett as coach and uh, going on to the 87 grand final. Mm. Um, and, of course, Wayne went back to the Brisbane and uh, and uh, that's when we obviously we started being coached by Tim and, uh, Great yeah, size. we just went you know, went on from there. Well, Lazo, you've played in what I count as two of the greatest games of all time. The first one, the greatest grand final of all time, 89 grand final. We'll talk about that. And full time. Have you ever this disbelief, you know? Like, we, we weren't playing that bad. Um, you know, we were playing as well as them, but they'd managed to score but you know, back on and uh, think about the game. And I, the, after the 80 minutes, I, you know, whilst I wasn't confident, well, I was confident, but, you know, we, we've got this. Uh, you could just see the body language of the Balmain Tigers guys. They were, they were shattered. They clearly, um, you know, yeah. were going to... They assumed they were going to win the game and, and we managed to come back. But um, that was just a wonderful day, getting back to Canberra. And uh, I do really believe Canberra uh, actually grew a soul back that day, mate. Yeah. It was um, yeah, right. a week of absolute wonderful celebrations. And I reckon Canberrans right across the board were very proud that they, were, uh, they had the best rugby league side in the comp, you know? Yeah. 1990, the Kangaroo Tour, amazing Kangaroo Tour. The second test, I think it's just about, you do not get a better game than this. Uh, at Old Trafford. Tell us about this, Lazo. What an incredible game. Yeah, it was... Um, it was we're under, under the pump, of course, because we're, we're uh, uh, in 1990 following the Invincibles and the, you know, the sides that went through undefeated. And, uh, you know, Australia uh, wasn't used to losing uh, Ashes tours uh, back in those days. And, um, and we were certainly feeling... This is at Old Trafford, where Manchester United uh, is home ground. And um, I'd... Uh, got about 20 stitches in my eye there a uh, week before I, um, I decided I'd headbutt uh, Mark McGaw's knee against <laughs> Castleford in good. a midweek game. And, uh, um, and the fact that, you know, that one of the most, I think, iconic tries and, and commentary calls of all time came out of that game. It, uh, it was certainly a game that I, I hold very dearly to, to my, towards my heart. And, and again, 1990, I was at the Raiders and there was quite a few of us in that, in that team as well. The move to, Bronco, uh, to the Broncos. You go to the Broncos in 92. By the way, you played, you win the grand final at Canberra 89, 90. You get beaten the grand final in 91. But then you go to the Broncos and you go back to back in 92, 93. That Broncos side, if, if that Broncos side would have played, say, the 1980 or 1990 Raiders, who would have won, Lazar? Yeah. What was the better team? Well, I don't know, mate. I, I don't I know. I think I'd, I'd have won because I. <laughs> <laughs> look back at these sorts of this footage and when I talk about my career I just can't believe how lucky I was that I played with so many wonderful players and coaches and mm. um, and I just I, I, I was just I, you know I, I, I contributed yeah, yeah but you know all the winners and the, and the guys that I played with I mean they were just uh, at the end of the day we just wanted to win games and we wanted to win comps you yeah. know no, no other distractions you yeah, know we, we and, and and we went about our business well Lazo then you go to the Melbourne Storm, right? And look at what the Melbourne Storm have become. And, but when you went to the Storm, what were your expectations? Um, 
Yeah, look, I, I, was, I was really looking forward to I, I'm putting a bit of weight on there, there by then. I'm about, <laughs> I'm about, I'm about 120 there. Uh, the wife and the kids have gone to Canberra and I'm on my own, so I'm eating Nando's, and, <laughs> Nando's every night and all this thing. But um, at the end of the day, uh, I, I, I was uh, really key to, you know, yeah, Revo and, and Chris Ennis are really passionate about establishing rugby league in Melbourne and I wanted to be a part of that, you know, and um, went down there as the captain and uh, we worked our butts off and, um, you know, we had a group of misfits from all over the place, you know, from Western Reds and everywhere else, um, and we got together, established a really good culture at the club, a winning culture, and, um, and uh, you know, we ended up playing uh, semi-finals in our first year and, and winning the comp in the second. Again, just a, a wonderful group of people together that wanted to wanted. To to be successful, you know? Is that why, is that why you did a cartwheel, <laughs> Lazo? Is, is, and was the cartwheel, was that at this one here? Yeah. yeah. I, I heard it, I, I heard a vicious rumour that it was a bit of a, was a bit of a piss take. Uh, Towards the Dragons, boys, you'd well, like to do a bit of a backflip and a cartwheel every now and then. Exactly. Well, won. as you know, or you may not know, but uh, so we'd never beaten St George before in two years, other than that grand final. And um, and I'd played with Chock in '97, the Super League year. He came to the Broncos, and you know, so I considered myself a mate and all that sort of thing. So I, I was a bit cheeky, I must admit, because you know, I, there was no way I was going to do a backflip, Barani, <laughs> double twist like like Nathan Blacklock or, yeah. or Chock would do. So the best I could come up with was a dirty old. Uh, okay, Ryan H. She obviously um, used to call the Origin games. Were you ever offended by what they call you the brick with eyes? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Were, were, you, were you ever offended by what they were saying? Uh, no, 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 I wasn't. Um, I got called the, uh, the prick with eyes a couple of times. <laughs> in Queensland and quite a few people um, and uh, I got called the brick with ears a couple of times because people get a bit confused but uh, that, that, I, 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 uh, I did alright out of that, yeah. that, uh, that uh, nickname uh, Brick Companies came some, calling yeah. and uh, it was pretty good bricks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Nice. That was awesome. Alright uh, we'll take a uh, break and uh, a little later on the show we've got Laurie Daly coming on. <laughs> <laughs>